All right, so in this video, I'm going to be exposing Whitney Cummings for being a massive hypocrite and an extremely fake person. Ooh, this is coming out of nowhere. I wonder if Two Days to Try heard me bigging up Whitney. Do you think so? Do you remember when I started glazing Whitney and started saying how hot she was? I wonder if Two Days to Try heard me glazing Whitney Cummings and decided I've got to knock her off a pedestal. I wonder. I wonder if my little insignificant ass played a role in getting Whitney Cummings in the crosshairs of Two Days to Try. Did me glazing her make him think, you know what? Everyone needs to be reminded about how horrible she is. I wonder. Maybe the fakest person I've ever covered on this channel. <laughs> God, which is what? Come on, that's a bit much. The fakest person you've ever covered. The fakest person in stand-up or the fakest person? That's, come on. Even even both of those things are completely incorrect. That's a pretty bad take from, from Two Days to Try. The fakest person, really? Saying a lot, but this whole situation just looks really bad for her. Okay, let's go. But if she thinks anything's inaccurate here or wants to correct me on anything, she's. Oh, it sounds like he's actually trying to talk to her directly. Is somebody in his family involved in this? Why is he? Why is he like making this personal? Why, what's going on here? Why does it sound like he's trying to get her attention? Hmm. Free to respond, but I have a feeling her immediate reaction to this will be to try to have this video taken down. But. Why is he sounding like a stand-up comedian? Why is he, like, goading the cancelling? Why is he trying to preempt the cancel? What's happening? Do you just try? What, what, what are you doing? Why are you, sound, why, why are you sounding like a stand-up comedian trying to uh, get views and clicks and engagement on your things? Come on, brother. This is not what people do. This is not what YouTubers do. What is this? You're probably going to try and cancel me. It's like, what? <laughs> what? I'll give her some advice here. That's a terrible idea, and it's not going to help at all. So Whitney coming. I'm not gonna lie. I know I do it sometimes. I know I do it sometimes. But surely offering people who are on stage and doing what they're doing advice as a YouTuber sounds a little bit patronizing. And it's also coming from it's probably the right message, wrong person. Because without them doing what they're doing, we wouldn't exist, kinda, you know? They've got to be fuck ups and low cows for us to laugh at. But I don't think we can actually give them advice on their careers, on how to do their work. You know, like, we can't really. I know I do it sometimes as well. I know I do it, but it's, uh, I don't know. Things has been a big supporter of the Me Too movement and okay. has been really What's outspoken about those issues. You know, I think she was the first comedian, along with Amy Schumer, okay. to make a statement on the Chris D'Elia allegations. Uh -huh. That's like, good. she addressed it within a couple of days after everything came out. Decent enough. And some people felt like she's just being kind of fake about it, and she was only speaking out because she was nervous it could affect her own career. Well, well, of course, that's why she's doing it. Do you think she actually gives a fuck that did that the diddler might be a diddler? Of course, she doesn't. She's not doing it because she's fighting for the justice of these underage alleged girls. She doesn't give a fuck. It's about self-preservation. She's a Hollywood actress, partly, and a writer and a director. Of course, she's going to protect her. But it's disgusting. It's not the best thing in the world, right? No one likes to see it. But let's be real. Like she has a she has a a family to look after now she has a career that she'd worked the whole whole life for why would you throw that away for chris fucking delia if the shoe was on the other foot he wouldn't do that for her anyway so it's like i get why she said it just to you know protect herself it's not a bad thing it might not be the most you know it might, it might not be good in the normal sense of the word but in celebrity world it makes a lot of sense i don't i i, I don't i don't have a problem with that at all here in hollywood since her and Chris were known to be good friends with each other and they've worked together, you know, he's the co-star of her show and they've done podcasts together. So after he got canceled, she immediately separated herself from him and she made a statement about it and deleted all his episodes, all his appearances that he made on her podcast. And same. I don't blame her, by the way. I think with Brian Callen, when he got canceled, she deleted all his appearances too. So I she don't blame him. Either. I don't blame her for that either. He was one of the few comedians to take a really hard stance against both of them mm -hmm. and cut him off completely. I mean, obviously, most comedians stopped working with them, but not many made such a strong statement about it. And Whitney said a lot of comedians were upset with her because of her stance on this. Yes, and I think it's mo with it being a with it being a mostly male dominated industry, it would make a lot of sense why, even though she did the right thing, it would have probably blown up in her face. She probably got a lot of pushback. Look what happened to Kalila. Look what happened to Annie Lederman. I partly believe, and again, this is hot take with no evidence and no insight and no nothing. I'm just speaking out of my own flipping, you know, thoughts and feelings here. 
But it wouldn't surprise me part of the reason why Annie Lederman left Trash Tuesdays was because of all the drama around Brendan. Because she leaked the whole like walk into my truck thing on that show. Maybe that smudge of that whole thing has never left her. So she thought the only way to actually get rid of it and to kind of come on un- and un- come away from that flipping shadow was to just to leave Trash Studio, which is a which is a good show technically on there to you know, especially with the three girls, probably would have gone on to do good things later on. But she left a pretty decent show to go do her own pod that she doesn't really do that often anymore. It's still getting decent views, but you know that I think it's called Annie Wood. It doesn't she doesn't really upload that often. But I, I would I wouldn't be surprised if she did that partly to get away from the Brendan Shaw warming to my truck thing. Even though she did nothing wrong, she just shared an experience that she had with a comedian. You're free to do that. So, you know, sometimes confessing or admitting to what happened with you, especially as a woman in stand-up comedy, can sometimes have a lot of negatives, even if you did absolutely nothing wrong. Mostly because it just seemed fake. You know, like this is a PR move from her to make sure that this doesn't affect her own career at all. Because it's really- What do you want her to do instead then? Leave the episodes up and get destroyed. And have people bombing the comments talking about how Rinx is a flipping grapist and Diddler is a Diddler. Like, what what, what should, should, should she have done? Leave the episodes up. Defend them. Come on, man. Hard to believe she made this statement just because she cares so much about the victims and everything. You know, it seems like she did this just to try to make sure it doesn't affect her. So this is what she said. It's taken me a couple days to process the information I've learned about Chris. I'm devastated and enraged by what I've read and learned. This is a pattern of predatory behavior. This abuse of power is enabled by silence. Now that I'm aware, I won't be silent. So that's pretty ironic, considering recently she's been completely silent about the very serious allegations made against her current boyfriend. And not only is she quiet about it, but I think there's also possible. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Two is a try, bro. Yo, big up NJ Ranger. Appreciate you, brother. This MF2 lazy jumped the hole as shark. The pearl clutching over the Trump slash tenacious D thing was the opening of the floodgates, but it's been coming for a while. Shout out Ricky Picture 2 who clocked this a minute ago. Turkey t- Turkey Tom looking at us. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is he? Big up to big up, big up Ricky Picture and big up to NJ Ranger for clocking this thing. What is he talking about? Does he expect Whitney Cummings to cancel her husband? To cancel her baby daddy? Over allegations? On the internet? (laughs) Or what? (laughs) What the fuck was he? What reality is he living in? He wants wants Whitney Cummings to come out with a statement and publicly disavow her husband. (laughs) What? Yo, two is a try, man. What the fuck is he on about, bro? I love, I like two is a try. I really fucking like him. I swear to God, he's one of the best ones out there. Him podcast cringe, my nigga, comedy enforcement with the two fucking cameras, right? With the two fucking cameras, right? I love those guys, but this is a horrendous take. And we have it from time to time. I think the more you do content, I think it's just part and parcel of the game, isn't it? The more you speak, you're inevitably going to end up saying something dumb. Or something very incorrect. Um, and this is it. What? Disability, which I'm going to get into here, that she might be trying to help her boyfriend silence his alleged victim. <laughs> Whitney is holding down the... Whitney is like that woman in Handmaid's Tale, isn't it? She's holding down the women while her husband does the deed. That's what Tillis Dry is basically saying. Whitney is like the woman in Handmaid's Tale. Yo, Tiz the try needs to relax. He needs to relax. Um, so now it's possible she's doing the complete opposite of what she pretended like she's doing in the Chris D'Elia situation. Okay. And I think it's because she probably figured that nobody would catch on to this and they could just make the story go away really quickly. Okay. But this is a classic example of the Streisand effect. Uh-huh. I mean, I don't know if these people will ever learn. So here's what's going on. Yeah, Whitney's currently dating this professional skateboarder. Chris really? Cole really i had no idea she's dating chris cole that is so random how the fuck did they end up meeting crossing paths hmm to to be fair anyway to be fair a lot of skateboarders listen to stand-up comedy podcasts anyway to be fair a lot of them do there's some but they listen to them but they don't appear as guests a lot which is weird as well by the way but they always sometimes when i listen to a couple here and there they do mention it this is pretty interesting Yo, big up Jordan Ray, demonetization gang, check in and you know how it is. Get your DGs in the ch- in the chat. DGs in the chat. DGs in the chat. Or no. Yeah, DGs in the chat. DGs. Let's go. 
And recently, a couple months ago, on May 14th, his ex-wife, who he also has kids with, made this Instagram. Yo, we're trying to, you're trying to get, you're trying to get Whitney Cummings to publicly disavow her now boyfriend, baby daddy, because of an allegation from an ex-wife. I thought it was from like scores of victims. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't lessen the accusation, but if it feels like scores of victims call from an ex-wife. This could be a fucking domestic for all we know. Like, come on, bro. Come on to his try. And why, uh, and why would you believe her fully over the, like, what? You don't even know the details of the, Anyway, these people are surely Chris Cole isn't famous enough for you to know the inner dealings of his relationship with his baby mom. Of course, surely it's not with his first wife, at least. Surely Chris Cole isn't that famous. Grand <laughs> post alleging that Chris was abusive towards her. Like a few things she said throughout this were I have PTSD from the violence I dealt with. Also, I was instantly treated like property and subhuman. And she also talked about how when she first met Chris, he didn't like that their names are too similar. Her name's Christine. So he said, that will never work. We can't have the same name and I'm more famous. By the way, um, DG hot take, right? DG hot take. Unless somebody did something to you, like actually did something to you, sharing this sort of stuff in public is never a good idea. It's never a good idea. Honestly, it's never a good idea. Like, what do you want us to do with this information? Even if this is true and he does sound like a shitty first husband, you're divorced now. What do you want us like? What? So I win. And then she said after that, he just started calling her Red because she's a redhead. And I guess that basically changed her name. And that's what everybody started to call her. So she's also telling people her name's actually Christine. So after she posted this. What? Isn't this the most white domestic you've ever heard in your life? He never liked my name because it was, huh? This is, this is what you're bringing to the internet. I don't think it really got that much attention. Like Chris probably would have been better off just not doing anything about it and trying to just ignore it. But his ex said that he lost one of his smaller sponsors and she thinks that kind of scared him. So then what fucking stupid shitty grip tape company is dropping Chris Cole because his wife said that he called her a redhead. <laughs> Honestly, what world are we living in that some fucking trucks company dropped Chris Cole because they were worried about the like what? <laughs> Spitfire dropped Chris Cole because his first wife said he left the toilet seat up. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And he issued her a cease and desist letter demanding that she retracts her post. And I think that just made her want to talk about it even more. She said, I will not do that. That is out of the question. But his letter was very clear. Man, yo, we're riding with Chris Cole, man. Slappy's in the fucking chat. We're, like, we're, we're riding with Chris Cole. We're riding with Chris Cole, bro. Unless you come with evidence that something else happened, we're not flipping going on some word because he called you names. Like, get out of here, man. We're, we're riding with Chris Cole. Clear, post a retraction or else you'll face hundreds of thousands of dollars in a lawsuit and settlement. She said, it's very easy for me to believe that this was a scare tactic designed to get me to back down. And it is my belief that his girlfriend set him up with this attorney, which I'd imagine she's referring to Whitney Cummings there. So, I mean, this is crazy. And it seems like that could be true. First of all, she says Chris is somebody that couldn't even find his own divorce attorney. And she had to help him with that. Why wouldn't she? Isn't she his wife? What? Why is this an issue? Why is it an issue that... Chris Cole has now married a woman who's extremely successful, has the resources and the access to get good lawyers so that she can come, he can come back this case he's got with his first wife. I don't see that that's being an issue unless the allegations are dicey, dicey. But so far, all I've heard is that he called her Red and he didn't like that her name started with C. I'm sorry, that isn't grounds for cancellation, man. Like, go complain about that in your group chat with your mom and shit. Like, don't bring that to the internet. And then also, you know, I'm sure Whitney has way more connections than him and has more money than him. And the lawyer that... <laughs> Is that Whitney? <laughs> Lol, look at Whitney hanging out with the skaters. That's fucking hilarious. He's working with is a big time Hollywood lawyer who's represented celebrities like Charlie Sheen, Michael Jackson, and Bill Cosby. So if it's true that Whitney's trying to help silence Chris's alleged victim by hooking him up with the same attorney that represented Bill Cosby... This would be a terrible look for her.
And even if that's not true, Whitney has to at least know about that. Yo, big up Quayla. I bet Whitney can suck the chrome of those skate trucks. Yo, I bet Whitney can suck the ball bearings out of a wheel from like 10 yards away, bro. Don't play with her. <laughs> yes. I mean, her and Chris spend a lot of time together and yeah. it's definitely affecting him. Like if he's talking to lawyers and apparently he's also deleting comments and stuff, which isn't a good sign for him. But obviously, how does he even know about this? What the fuck is this? How does Talisha try even know about this? Why is he trying to cancel Whitney Cummings for defending her boyfriend? Her husband, whatever from the first wife. Honestly, what is this? I don't, unless I'm trying to figure out, is this woman related to Talisha Try or something? The first wife? Is Chris Cole like, I don't know. Is he like a rival of one of his family members? Why is he even invested in this? I don't understand. Like, even if what First Wife is saying is true, at most, if I, read this, if I read all this, right, even if what the First Wife is saying is true, at most, my reaction is, I'm sorry that happened to you. Good luck. I'm not making a 10-minute video about it. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what else. It's, it, 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 it's a domestic. Like, it's hard to really have an opinion on domestic with not really a lot of details. It's like, what do you want us to do? Take it up with the courts, innit? Obviously, like, I'm sure he's talking about this with her and she knows about it for sure. How could she not? And she's still posting pictures with him to Instagram. It's crazy. But of course, she's posting them to her story so people can't comment on it. And just, oh, yeah. Oh, come. Everyone does that, though. Come on, bro. He's reading too much into this stuff. Doesn't everyone do that? Doesn't everyone post more on their stories than they do on their feed? That's not her trying to run away from the smoke. Like, come on, bro. This is a horrendous take, horrendous take. Yesterday or like a day or two ago, she posted a few with him and one of them she said, best dude, and then tagged him, which is what. <laughs> Isn't that, so you, so what? So you can't, you can't give your fella compliments because he's going through a domestic with his first wife. You can't. <laughs> oh, yo, this try is. I, you know what? I got a rate you know, because I do like when content creators have just like a hate burner for somebody. You know, like how podcasts cringe, like detest Burt Kreischer. I like that Tears to Try is riding on his shit. Like, I, you know, he's definitely got a hate burner for Whitney, which is perfectly fine. You can have a hate burner for everybody else you want. I've got a hate burner for DSP. I get it. But it's just funny to see it. It's just funny to see it wild i mean this is pretty much equivalent to when everything was coming out about crystalia if she were to post a picture with him and be like oh he is the best so she really just but she's not fucking crystalia she doesn't have a baby with crystalia and they're not in a relationship at that time complete and, and also the allegations are completely different from what i can see so far i've not seen any allegations that her baby daddy is some sort of diddler if that was that would be a completely different those pictures would look completely different but that's not how, that's not the context, no? Or am I missing something? Just does not give a shit here and is maybe even trying to kind of defend him with this post. Or maybe it's like an F you to his ex. And I think that Tag posting a picture of you with your BD on the lake somewhere onto your Instagram stories is now like a form of what violence? This is now microaggression the reason whitney feels comfortable posting pictures with him is because she probably figured this story would just go away nobody would hear about it you know because it's still is a really it. small story until this video but her and chris probably figured once he gets that lawyer and sends his ex to cease and desist there's no way she'd want to deal with that you know it'd probably scare her away because obviously they have way more money and they could just run her dry but it seemed like that letter kind of had the opposite effect and now she wants yeah, big up NJ because it's convenient for his grift right now. I don't, like, did he, is he, like, friends with this first? Like, what is, I don't understand this even angle. Even if you're friends, this is such, like, a, so far I've not heard anything that would warrant this level of attention on this. Like, what actually happened between Chris Cole and that ex-wife? Like, what is actually going on? He called her red. They they broke up on bad terms. People break up on bad terms every day, B. We say mean words to each other when you're in a relationship with somebody, especially if you know them for a long time. You say mean things to get under their skin. Is that grounds for you to be cancelled? For what? Like, for Whitney to break up with him? Oh, um, Riding Aces says he choked her. Oh, okay, is that what the allegation is? She's alleging that she got choked. Well, I'm DG gang anyway. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's not like... What does that have to do, like, in the contents of, like, 
of Whitney Cummings though, because it sounds like he's talking about her being upset that Whitney's with him. So if you're the first wife and you're upset that Whitney's with him, what do you what do you ex like? Do you expect him not to move on? I know he might be in a, let's say he was an abuser. Cool, he's moved on now. He's now he's Whitney. What are you trying to? I, I still don't. Do they have kids? Is she trying to get money? So they have kids. Is she trying to get money or something? Or more custody of the ki custody of the kids? The angle is still a bit bizarre. So he assaulted you when you were together. You're now trying to make the public aware of it. Okay, he's a bad dude. He sounds like a bad husband and a bad father and a bad whatever. Cool. Okay. What do you want Whitney to do? Why is Whitney involved in this? I don't understand the Whitney angle. Why is why are people trying to why is he trying to make it seem like Whitney is like enabling or excusing do you know what I mean? Or condoning fucking violence against women. He's not. I don't think so. Just because you're with some don't get me wrong, it's not the most tasteful thing. Doesn't look good optics wise, but just because a woman is with an abuser doesn't mean that she condones abuse. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit too like left leaning for that, but that doesn't I don't know. Like wants to talk about it even more and prove that this stuff actually did happen so i think going to that lawyer just made things even worse for him because it's also not really a good sign if that's what you have to resort to and then also what makes things look worse for him and what gives his wife some credibility is the fact that their son who i think is 18 years old is speaking out in support of his mom he said i've witnessed what my mom went through and she deserves the space to tell her story and how it's affected the lives of our family she deserves support so if you value me as a friend or her as a human being show her that you stand with her and who she worked to be so okay so the so the so the, so, so the kids come out now so the kid is co-signing the story or the allegation that most likely his dad was abusive to his mom cool but what does that have to do with whitney i believe them i believe the mom i believe the i believe red chris first wife i believe her i believe the son i believe them what does it have to do with whitney what does it do with her? like what is what does this have to do with whitney why is whitney bad because she's helping him with a lawyer why wouldn't she they're fucking together now like i don't understand this that doesn't mean she's condoning what he's doing it's just i have the money i have access to it i can maybe help you out here's a lawyer so that's pretty big and then what else gives her credibility is this story she told on a podcast about like nine or ten years ago and she's still with Chris at the time, so she's not even telling the story to expose him or make him look bad or anything, even though it definitely does. And I think she's telling it because her friend thought it was really funny or something, even though it just sounds like Chris is unhinged. She Nine years ago story on some like trad wife podcast, on some Mormon podcast, is that what we're doing? Fucking hell, bro talks about how they're planning to do something like go out with the kids maybe or something and chris said he wanted to skate instead so she was kind of getting frustrated with him and they got in an argument and then when she's leaving she's driving away and chris was really pissed at her i'm sorry 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 i skate i've skated since i was bloody 15 all right i've got max skate magazines all over the back of me somewhere here. all right i've been somewhat involved in it for most of my life but I'm sorry. Surely, if you're marrying a grown man who skateboards and has sponsors as a livelihood, <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> what did you expect? He's going on tour with 16 year olds <laughs> to Romania. What did you expect? You think, I don't know look whatever love speech love speech so he threw a bike pump at her car windshield and it broke and almost smashed her in the face so i left and went in the car and i was gonna try and pull out of the garage but the garage took way too long so he came in and he was just like ah and smashed the hood of my car like as hard as he could and i had these two huge dents in my green car and so he so when he doesn't land a trick when you were first dating, he didn't and he didn't land a fucking pop shove, right? And he smashed his board. That was cute, and that turned you on. But then when you get married and he sma and he does that same smash on your car bonnet, suddenly it's not cute anymore, eh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, <laughs> you made your bed, didn't it? <laughs> he says he walks away and it didn't relieve as much pressure as he wanted it to. So he sees a bike pump and he just picks it up and just hurls it at 
the car and it just shatters the windshield. <laughs> and at first, like as he's walking away, I'm like, well, now he's gonna have to fix it. And I'm just like super pissed and like just girly and bitchy about it. And then he throws the bike pump and it just shatters my windshield. And I was like, oh my God, like that was so close. It's just shattering my face. I thought you were about to say, oh my God, I was so turned on. Oh my god, this is crazy. Like, what do I do right now? And again, at this, I'm not gonna lie, that does sound like a bit of a gnarly story. <laughs> that does sound like a gnarly story. He sounds like he might have some anger issues. But the fact that everyone around the table is laughing at it is just proof of how different the podcast climate was nine years ago. Everyone's like laughing about this story of him throwing a bike pump <laughs> at the car while she's sitting in it. That smashed the window. That's fucking crazy. That could have split her face open. That that isn't a funny story, but everyone's giggling around the table. So they didn't think it was bad then. She thought it was funny then. You can't then use this as a fucking no. Sorry, you didn't have a problem with it now. Don't start remembering things and like oh yeah actually. It's like no 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 actually you were a grown woman when it happened man. Come on come on now this time they're still married which i think is important because it's not like she's telling the story to call him out or expose him or make him look bad so there'd be no reason for her to make this up at all so with all that it seems like there's a good chance she's telling the truth about the stuff she's accusing him of and i mean he could always respond even if she is telling the truth which she most likely is right even if she's telling the truth which she most likely is why are we canceling whitney cummings for this i still don't understand onto it and give his side of the story and try to dispute what she's saying but right now the way he's handled it so far it's not looking good for him so here's a clip of her what do you mean not looking good for him what's he gonna do lose his sponsor to grizzly grip tape what not looking good for him <laughs> he's, he's he's hit the jackpot mate he's with whitney cummings he's a what how old is chris cole now maybe late 40s early 50s professional skateboarder you know, no homo, but he's not like the most handsomest man in the world. It's not as if he's going to be in a movie or in, or in a fucking Vogue shoot any time of the day, anytime recently. He's he's lucked out pretty well, he, you know, getting with New Whitney anyway. He's made it. Like, w w what's he going to suffer with this? What, he's, he's not going to be able to get on fucking epically latered? <laughs> oh, no. The interview with Frasher's cancelled. Like, who's caring for him anyway? Like, what? This, oh yeah, yay. For going into a little more detail about everything that allegedly happened. I was financially controlled. I was pushed downstairs. My teeth were broken with a beer bottle. I had a hundred pound suitcases thrown at me at skate contests. I was choked multiple times to the point of not thinking I would survive. My <laughs> children's lives were threatened. He threatened to unalive my children. My kids witnessed all of this i have evidence so that's where i'm at currently it whitney's probably <laughs> whitney's probably watching this saying sucks to be you <laughs> look <coughs> she's probably right everything she's saying probably happened most likely but i just what's that to do with whitney because this video is titled whitney cummings has a lot of explaining to do does she does she though does she in May, I had posted a video to ask my friends and family to call me my real name and not the nickname that I was given. The nickname you... By him. From there, I was issued a cease and desist. It is my belief that the... Re hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chris Cole might be a fucking psycho. Hold on, hold on. Did Chris Cole send her a cease and desist not to use her own name? <laughs> He blocked her from using her own name on socials and shit. Does he have the rights to her name? Is that what he's done? Does 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 her ex-husband own the copyright to her fucking name that was given to her by her parents? <laughs> that is sick. That is sick. The reason he was able to issue that cease and desist is because he is in close proximity to someone who has access to a lawyer like Marty Singer oh okay now i get it so this whole thing is about the lawyer thing because chris cole is with whitney whitney has money and she's famous so she probably has access to better lawyers and she's helping him out and now those lawyers are crushing whatever thing that she has going on 
which she was probably getting some way with before Chris ended up with Whitney. I'm assuming she probably filed these lawsuits before Chris got with Whitney, but then he wasn't, you know, he didn't have proper or decent representation. It was probably going her way. Now it's not going her way and she's going public with it to get it out in the open to kind of, you know, force that issue. I understand her tactics. I get it. But I just don't understand why we should cancel Whitney for backing her guy. Like, it's a bit shitty. I get it. But it's like, that's her dude, isn't it? What's she going to do? Like, cancel him because you guys had a bad relationship. And at the end there, it sounds like she could possibly be referring to Whitney Cummings, hooking him up with that lawyer. So I think there's a good chance Whitney's helping. One thing's for sure, one, one thing's for sure, which is not a slight on her, and I'm sure Whitney wouldn't take this as an offense. One thing we all know for sure, Whitney's not a girl's girl. I don't think anybody that works at entertainment can be a girl's girl because entertainment industry is by nature very selfish. You have to look after yourself. It's a dog eat dog industry. So by definition, it's very difficult to be a girl's girl. But for sure, unless you are under some confusion or illusion whitney's not a girl's girl she never has been your big up billy bats appreciate you brandon is a faggot <laughs> hey yo hey yo hey yo chill 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 i know i'm dg gang but chill billy bats please god oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my god what the fuck was that yo billy bats do you work for Zach Amico? Are you on Zach Amico's flipping street team? Are you a part of Zach Amico's social media team or something? What are you doing, bro? Fucking... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> like, P Billy Bats, come on, man. Please don't do that, man. Don't do that again. I beg of you. I beg of you, bro. I beg of you. I beg of you. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> you know what? Let's just end it there. Let's just let's just end it there. Let's just end it. Let's just let's just play the end bit and let's just move on. Billy Bat's just ruining the mood, man. Scaring all the holes away. Helping him with this. But even if that's not true, just the fact that she's still with him is insanely hypocritical. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, she What's hypocrite? Oh, oh whatever. She clearly doesn't care too much about these issues like she claims. Of course she doesn't care. She's just trying to protect her career and also protect her husband. Duh. She did when Chris D'Elia got canceled. Like, also, I saw a couple of comments about Whitney's boyfriend, Chris, that he allegedly might have started dating Christine when she was 16. So I think Whitney must just be attracted to creepy Chris's, and she's really showing her true colors with this. Wow. So she has some explaining to do here, and I guess we'll just see how she handles it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and then make sure you go check out my Patreon. Yo, unless you know this for certain... Throwing that out there that he might be a PDF is wild. Unless you know that for certain, just throwing that out there. <laughs> he might have hooked up with her when she was 16. It's like, yo, today's two ladies to try does not fuck with Whitney Cummings. Jesus Christ. But I think he's being a bit crazy. I think he's being a little bit too... This is a reach. In my opinion, I think this is a bad take. I don't understand what you want Whitney to do in this situation that lady had a bad relationship with this chris guy whitney's not having a bad one with him at the moment that's her dude she, she, of course she's going to do whatever in her power to help him why wouldn't you like especially if it's an I, it seems like an isolated incident that she did with like i don't understand what's have to do with crystalia crystalia is like a catalog of like you should probably judge her harshly more harshly than the crystalia thing really and truly as opposed to this but it sounds like he's coming at her with more venom on this issue than the crystalia issue the Chris Lee issue, she's probably more angry about because that was also her friend. That was also her colleague. And she threw him under the bus when the delegations came about. And you're like, hold on. There's no way you didn't did not know about this. You probably buried your hand under the sand or looked the other way. But now it's not serving you. You throw him under the bus. That is a bit horrible. I don't blame her for doing it. But you should probably attack her more for that. This, defending your husband, trying to help him. But also not outwardly. She's not even said a statement publicly about it. She's not made any statement publicly. She's just using her resources to help him out. Like, why, why wouldn't you do that? I don't know. Whatever. 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 Check him out anyway, regardless. So it's a try. He's there. Check him out. I'll give him a like anyway. Because he puts out good content regardless. Um, we all are prone to... We, we, we can all be prone... We're all susceptible, sorry, to a bad take here and there. So don't judge him on that one. It is what it is. And it's also, it's nice to have a bit of a hate bone up for somebody. Do you know what I mean? 
just an undeserved one fuck it let me just have a hate burner so i get why he did it i get why he did it 